welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be upgrading Fitz's tank. I bought new substrate and new decorations for her. And as you can see, her tank is pretty dirty. She definitely does need an upgrade though because it's been like this for too long and it just needs to get clean. A bunch of maintenance needs to be done. So let's get into it. If you already saw my last video, then you saw what I got from Chewy for Fitz's tank, but in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing everything. Here we have the green terrarium liner, so also known as Repti Carpet. We're going to be using this in Fitz's tank. Hopefully this is enough though. This is a 55 gallon, but um, it's kind of thin. Yeah, this is definitely not going to hold it. I should have bought two. The next thing we have is the Pothos, just the regular Repti vines. I think this is six feet. It doesn't tell me how long it is. Yes, it does. They also do come with suction cups, but I don't think I'm going to be using them. Maybe I should, though, but the suction cups that usually come with vines and stuff like this are really corny, and they never work. So we're going to see what we can do. She already has this in her tank. It's just up there. And then lastly, I saved the best for last. We have the reptile lounger. Well, the lizard lounger. I never used this before. I actually never seen it before until I went on Chewy's website. So hopefully this does us good. I'm guessing I just hook the suction cups up to the back of this and then it sticks onto the wall and Fitz can hop on it. Now what I'm going to be doing is just basically cleaning Fitz's tank and setting everything up. So let's get right into the montage. Okay, so like I said, this was not fitting the whole tank, so luckily I saved Chimmy's old Repti carpet, so we're just going to be using that for Fitz's tank because this is clearly not big enough. I was going to put the hide over here, just so it would cover it up. <laughs> I feel like I should put this by the Hopefully these suction cups are sticky though. Wait, why is it like lopsided?
Okay guys, so as you can see, Fitz's tank looks so much better. It actually fits everyone else's tank. Since I already switched the geckos over to a more naturalistic habitat, I wanted to do that with Fitz as well. Maybe I'll switch to a loose substrate in the future, but if so, I'm gonna have to do a lot of research. I would never do just sand. I was thinking about mixing coconut fiber and sand or using the excavator clay that they sell in the stores, but I did hear some reviews about that, that the excavator clay can actually become too loose, but I don't know, we're gonna have to see. I think this is a pretty good setup for now for Fitz. She has a lot more climbing spots to use and it looks more naturalistic. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video of me upgrading Fitz's tank and see you in the next video.